Georgi, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to start and um, uh, with uh, looking at this map of Rainbow Index that ILGA Europe uh, uh, released this week. And it shows uh, a lot of advancement in some countries, even in Ukraine, for example. But there is a very disturbing trend of many Central European countries sliding back and rolling back, actually, a lot of equality measures in the last year. Um, just wanted to ask you to hear your thoughts as a person who is involved in fighting for equality in Central Europe. What is happening? Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting. Um, the, well, the trend and general tendency is um, obvious. The, the, the shift and the, the change of the government uh, made an influence on a general picture, and I'm here uh, obviously speaking about Poland, um, because after the elections um, the last the, this year in October, the, the last year, sorry, um, the, the government has changed, and, and the rhetoric about minority rights, and that primarily concerns LGBT rights as well, has shifted drastically. So. Um, overall situation, and that later on uh, translated into uh, not supporting bills uh, which were already proposed in the parliament, and they continued using the language that is um, that is affirmatory for the LGBT groups and the minority groups in general. So um, well, overall, this. Yes. Well, this week, uh, this weekend, for example, uh, we've seen record numbers of people showing up for uh, LGBT pride in Krakow in Poland, uh, which is a very conservative city. At the same time, you're talking about the, uh, these attacks from political elites, and it reminds me a bit of general dynamic in uh, Eastern and Central Europe, because as we talk here on Hromatske with other LGBT activists all around the region, they all point out that actually in recent years, many political elites have started using this topic to kind of enable hate, but there is not a such as a powerful backup from the public when it comes to homophobia. So what is it? Is it just uh, political projects and political attempts of political elites to spread homophobia? Or is, is this really the case that homophobia in general uh, is also on the rise? Uh... I wouldn't say that general that the public is exactly following the rhetoric of uh, of the government um, because when it comes to certain governments in general in Central and Eastern Europe, they are not exactly in line uh, with the rhetoric towards the LGBT groups. Uh, in case of Poland, for instance, currently we have uh, the conservative um, ultra right, the peace, the government. Uh, but when it comes to uh, Pride, for instance, you mentioned Krakow Pride and the record number of people. Um, this is a general tendency. Same is going to happen in Warsaw on the upcoming Pride in June, because the anger towards the government is raising. And uh, recently, there were 250,000 people marching in uh, in the streets of Warsaw to protest the, the actions of uh, the peace government. And actually, the continuation of this will be also the Equality March, which is going to happen in uh, in June. Um, so it's not exactly Exactly in line, we cannot say that they have the general public support um, on on like having homophobic stance, uh, and it will actually translate on the equality march, which will happen in June. Well, exactly, it's very fascinating that suddenly uh, the issue of equality, civil rights equality, is not mar marginalized anymore, and it's uh, such in uh, uh, in in the link with the political developments in many countries. My last question: I, I know that I've seen from your Twitter, and you've you reported in your organization your. Uh, uh, gay Rights uh, Center also has been an, a site of attack, increasing uh, a number of attack. And actually, if I'm uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you said that you've never seen such a number of attacks, even against your own center, in uh, uh, ever. Is it is it really the truth? Can you clarify that? Yes, that's true. Uh, campaign against homophobia um, within the like last 15 years, there hasn't been any single attack. Uh, not to mention that frequent attacks like that happened ever since uh, the, the new year. It's been three, three times already when uh, during the daylight uh, when it's um, in, in the afternoon when they expect that there are a lot of people and the cameras can record them they were ready to break in the office and uh, it happened three times already. They broke the windows they tried to break in the office uh, obviously we cannot have any empirical uh, proof that this was somehow linked to the government uh, changes but generally the tendency is there. Uh, the past years 
nothing like this happened to, to our organization. And now there is already three times. Uh, and also it, the campaign against homophobia is not the only organization. Also Lambda, another um, organization based in Warsaw, has been also attacked uh, uh, recently. So it's a general trend that the people probably feel that because of the peace government now, conservative part can easily um, attack to to marginalize groups and uh, it won't be investigated. The police will simply probably close the case and uh, it won't be really followed up. So when there is no feeling of uh, justice and fairness, then the people can actually um, do things like this to the organizations like us. Georgi, thank you, thank you so much for sharing your story and uh, stay safe and good luck. Thanks for having me, bye.